the thoughts, views, and opinions are that of my own. I'm not a salesman. I cannot be bought. This is all entertainment. Let's go. E Q Cipher. Peace, 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 peace. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. This is your host, EQ. Can y'all see me in there? Put the thumbs up. Put fire in the chat if you can see me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Let me see. Find the chat. Find the chat. Because something ain't showing up. Let me see something. Why is this not showing up on my live? Let me see why the video ain't showing up. I don't see no fire in the chat. I need to see it going off. Okay. I don't know what's the hold up. I'm checking my YouTube. It just seemed like, okay, we good. We live. What it do? All right. Just want to make sure everything was going on. What up? What up? What it do? Peace, peace, peace. Mike check, Mike check. One, two, one, two. This is your host, EQ, and welcome to a cypher. Y'all know what time it is. I'm not a salesman. I can't be bought. This is all entertainment. Take it for what it is. Let's go. Put your center days in the chat. What it do? As with all things, I'm going to have my water. Mm. Uh, what my drink of choice going to be tonight? I don't know. All right. Let me see. I'm going to go with this chocolate flavored red wine. <laughs> Bro. Listen, man, y'all don't want me to make fragrances. <laughs> it's going to be, <laughs> yo, bro. Listen, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that. That's that. Yeah. How y'all feeling today on this Sunday? So we're going to talk about some things today on how to make your fragrances last long. We're going to go over it all. It's not going to be just add molecule 102. We're going to get into it. To be honest, I'm running a little bit late. Bro, I was going to put it off till 930, but I just said, listen, man, let's just go ahead and get to it. Moisturize your hands, moisturize your skin. And that's going to be part of the video as well, because, yeah, some of y'all don't know no better. Got my notes. Got everything here. Let me put that there. Get things in order. How y'all feeling? We're gonna let a few more people come in. <laughs> y'all know what time it is. We're about to go ahead and get the party started. 97 people in the chat. We're gonna go ahead and get to it. We're gonna go ahead and get to it. We're gonna go ahead and get to it. Get to it, get to it, get to it. Peace, 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 and more peace. It is a vibe, man. What are we talking about? Today's episode of The Cypher. This is episode number 36. I started doing lives, I think, January last year. I got 36 in the chat. Hit the like button. Appreciate the super chat, Kyler. Appreciate the super chat. Um, 36 lives. I appreciate everybody who rock with me. Who want to see what's going on. I appreciate that. I appreciate the rewatch crew. Those who like to show up and rewatch the replay. I appreciate you. I know it's Sunday. It's kind of late. Um, some of y'all getting ready to go to bed because y'all got to go to work. And I get it. It's past your bedtime. It's cool. I get it. I'm going to try to make it quick. Try to keep it under an hour. Um, today's live is going to be get better longevity from your 
fragrances. Now, far too often I'm in Facebook groups and the conversation a lot is fragrances don't last. They don't perform. Well, before I get into that, my monologue, I'm going to bring a new fragrance to y'all. Y'all want to hear about a new fragrance? <laughs> Yo, Matic, what's going on, bro? I'm going to talk about a new fragrance. I wasn't going to do it today, but why not? Let's talk about a new fragrance. So that's going to be part of the paying the bills before we get to it. So um, last year, this fragrance, this fragrance released. I've been wearing it like every day for like the last couple of days, um, trying to get kind of feel for it. But last year, this fragrance came out of nowhere. I learned of this fragrance because um, one of my subscribers hit me in my inbox and thought and asked me what I thought about this fragrance. If you go into the description, um, the link to where to purchase this fragrance is in um, my description box. And that's coming from Thomas Calls Mala, and that's number four, Neon. Now, if y'all not hip, Thomas Calls Mala has number four um, that smells like basically it's a amped up version of Baccarat Rouge. Like it pushes, projects like it pushes. Um, but it's a peekaboo fragrance. It come and go. You get wafts. It is a Siage Monster fragrance. If you look at this fragrance, this fragrance here gives that same kind of performance. It is a Siage Monster. It is not a room filler fragrance. This is all about mango. <laughs> mango, I believe, uh, passion fruit may be in here. Um, a lot of aldehyde, solar notes, and a whole bunch of other things. What does it smell like? It smells like mango in, I believe, bergamot or passion fruit or something's in there. It's almost giving me like a mango pineapple kind of vibe. Now, when I first sprayed it on, kind of, I was somewhat reminded of Blockade a little bit, of the mango and Blockade. Very juicy mango, but side by side, these smell. Um, nothing alike. This is fruity. I mean, extremely juicy, fruity, mango, sharp citrus. Again, that bergamot is here is almost coming off like mango, pineapple kind of thing. Um, and it kind of has that Baccarat Rouge feel to it. Now, I know some people are going to ask me, well, how does it compare to God of Fire from, um, Stefan Humbert Lucas. I don't own that fragrance. It's a fragrance I want to get this year. But every time I get an opportunity to get it at a discounter, it like, it comes and it goes and it's real quick and I just miss out. Um, so it is what it is. So I don't speak on anything I don't really own or have an experience for a long period of time. I know it's a fragrance I want, um, but I haven't lived with it enough to really give honest thoughts and opinions on the fragrance besides the fact that I'm going to have it hopefully before summer. Um, but again, this is, if you like Thomas Cosmal, I believe you can get this on my link. Again, the link is in the description box. Um, believe like 129 for this. That ain't bad for 100 ml. Fruity mango, bright, sunny, Siage monster, Where's like a Baccarat Rouge? You're going to get wafts, hit or miss kind of thing with it. It's a great fragrance. It's a good fragrance. I'm not going to say it's great. It's a good fragrance, though. I like it. It's going to be, if people smell it, it's going to be highly complimented. It's one of those, you're just going to unisex right down the middle. I've been getting great longevity on this. I've been getting like 10 hours on this. <laughs> like wafts. Now, People just standing next to you, smelling it all the time. Like I asked a couple of people, I know family and stuff like, hey, can you can you smell me? Um, well, let me know when you smell me. And it was like kind of a hit or miss thing so far. It's like if I passed them at a certain pace, they kind of was like, ooh, I kind of smelled it. Or I smelled something. But it's not like an ongoing kind of thing. It's like, boom, it's dead. It's like, ooh, what was that? It's like a whisper, <laughs> careless whisper. That's what it is. But I'm enjoying it. Um, I guess on IG, I give my full review. I'll talk about this on IG tomorrow. But again, this is number four neon. This is my scent of the day. Um, not mad at this purchase at all. I might even layer it with um the original number four. And that's gonna be crazy work. Anywho, today's episode is how to make your fragrance 
is last longer to give better longevity from your fragrances. So again, as I first started off, a lot of people in these Facebook groups um, and places, all, or I always get questions, man, hey, what's the performance longevity like? Or I don't really get performance. I had somebody say, where is it? I had somebody say, like, they ain't really get the beast mode performance in this. And that's kind of what inspired me to do this video because I'm like, something going on there um, because this is nuclear. Everybody around you knows it's nuclear and there's reasons why you don't think so. And we're going to get into it. So let's start it off and hit different points. One is what is your expectation on what a fragrance can do? Some of y'all have jaded expectations. A lot of it comes from some of the goofiness and weird stuff that happens on Fragcom. Fragcom has exploded. Um, you don't have to have the most knowledge. You just got to have a cell phone and like fragrances and you can talk about them. You don't even have to experience a whole lot of fragrances. You don't have to do your own research and educate your... No, nah, bro, you just need a camera and whatever. And, and as long as you got Fragranica, you can fake it like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sometimes I can just go on Frag Granica and I can say, this is how most reviews are. It's why I don't watch a lot of fragrance reviews except for my guys and I don't watch much because a lot of them just be reading me a whole bunch of notes. They ain't telling me nothing. It's, this is blockade. No, let me read the notes. It's mango. And it's really weird because then they say, oh, when you first spray it on and they say when you first spray it on, you only get these top notes. Well, that's rather impossible when the base notes are the denser notes. Why don't you smell base notes in the top? <laughs> you should. The fragrance pyramid is not about how you per se smell the fragrance. But I'm going to get a perfumer on, and we're going to talk about that and debunk some of this so you can identify when people just reading you notes and not really telling you what a fragrance is because that, that's happening a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so it'll teach you how to use your own discernment, but a lot of people, we've come to this thing where everything got to be beast mode, everything got to be room filler. And if it ain't, then it wasn't worth the money. That makes no sense to me. I remember back in the days you would just go into the mall, Macy's, Hex, if anybody remember Hex before Macy's bought them out, you would just go into the mall, you would smell the fragrance, you would just buy it. Nobody, no internet existed. Nobody talked about beast mode fragrances. And it was just, do it smell good, bro? I'm going to wear it. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, you was getting ready to go to the club. You're only there for four hours. You spray it on before you go to the club. By the time you leave, who cared if it was there or not? Bro, you left with a number or you left with something and whatever happened, happened. But no one cared. <laughs> you just bought what you like. Bro, it smells good. That's it. I'm good for it. With this internet, we've gone totally extremist. Everything has to last. If it costs $300, it has to last 24 hours. Um, That doesn't make sense, and I'm going to go into why that doesn't make sense. So your expectation on what fragrances um can do has been jaded because a lot of y'all watch a lot of reviews over, 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 over. And everybody's regurgitating the same thing. Beast mode, beast mode, panty drop, duck, and you're just, you're being influenced. It's no other way around it. You're being influenced. So I'm just going to be the voice of reason in the anti-influence, hopefully. <laughs> At least to get you to think about things and how to purchase and how to wear. Um, Listening and overspraying will just desensitize your nose. I'm not going to go too much into that because I don't want to debate or argue science. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue science, bro. Some of y'all just y'all spraying it in the wrong places. Maybe a beast mold or a really strong fragrance. You you're spraying it in the center of your chest. Your nose blind, bro. I'm. It is ignorant for me to argue science. Your nose blind. It's the same reason people who have dogs and cats in their house can't smell that their house smells like They don't know it smells like 
But you walk in their house and you like, bro, it smell like cat piss in here. And dog They don't know that. They don't. Cigarette smokers don't know they smell like ashtrays. They don't. They smoke all the time. They're desensitized to it. We smokers who sitting in a car and huffing, they don't know they stink, bro. <laughs> Y'all stink. Try smoking outside or vaping or something to get clean air. You stink. Cigar smokers, I don't know. Change your clothes. Outside of the cigar lounge, you should probably just go home and change. People, if you ain't in, they don't want to smell that you stink a little. And I smoke a cigar from time to time. Bro, it stinks. Outside of a cigar lounge, and yo, it stinks. That's why they have humidors in there so your clothes aren't all over the place. You don't know that, though. The same way if you drink a lot of alcohol, you don't think your breath stinks. Let a cop pull up to your window or somebody who's sober walk up to you. They're going to say, bro, <laughs> you smell drunk. <laughs> I'm sure homeless people don't know they smell like piss. I was in the military, right? We would go to the field. Bro, we would be out there for weeks. <laughs> Baby wipe showers. Bro, we stink. <laughs> you don't smell it. Nobody was outside like, oh, uh, man, we smell ivory fresh. Bro, nobody smelled it. But coming back from the field and you go see your lady, she'd be like, bro, stop, no hugs, straight into the shower. Please, now, thank you. You smell like shit. Because you stink. Kids playing outside. They smell like outside. Bro, stop running in and out the house. Y'all smell like outside. You stink. <laughs> you don't know. You're over spraying and you just don't know. So I'm not going to argue science. Everybody telling you to overspray, you are burning out your nose. You know how sometimes I reset my nose? If I'm going to be in the house for the weekend... I don't have no plans. I ain't really trying to spend no money. I'm chilling. I'm watching a game or two. At best, what I might do is get a fragrance. You know, let's say I want to smell Bois Imperial. I might just come into the, to the vault. I might just smell a fragrance. Be like, man, this is amazing. Put it back on the shelf and don't put nothing on that day and go throughout my day. But if I must smell something, I might put a little bit on my wrist. Just like one spray on each wrist, and that is it. That'll be my daily wear. And whenever I want to smell something, I'll just do that, and that's it. But I try to reset my nose. There were fragrances. When I was wearing this like every day, I was wearing this like every day for a week when I first got it, right? Like a week. I noticed as the days went on, part of me felt like I needed to put more sprays on, and two sprays wasn't enough. As I kept wearing it, I was like, bro, is I'm not really, two sprays really enough? And then I'm like, well, maybe I should go three or four. But then I remember what it smelled like the first spray. It didn't get weak in 24 hours. My nose got used to the scent. I was like, oh, maybe I need to, maybe just one more. Y'all find yourself doing that? Uh, one more. Come on, one more for the road. <laughs> it's like having a drink. Be like, ah, oh, let's get a roadie. <laughs> one for the road. You don't need that one more, bro. People smell you. <laughs> Trust me. You are ruining your nose. Take a break. And 20 spray gras is in gal. Of giving y'all bad advice. Because you're always going to want more. So spraying too much and where you spray, depending on the fragrance, fragrance type can just burn your nose. So that's your expectations of fragrance. And the reality is fragrance can't fix your looks or your personality. <laughs> Too many of y'all want fragrances to introduce you all. I did a video on that. I talked about it last time and I don't really understand that. Every day or anytime we're talking with people, they say fragrance is the icing on the cake and fragrance is, is I put on my clothes, my shoes, my I make sure I'm shaved, I brush my teeth, I'm, my, I'm hygiene and fragrance is the, is the cherry on top. Well, if it's the cherry on top, why the f is it introducing you? If I'm the full course meal, 
Why is the cherry the thing that's taking the center of attention? How about my looks? My personality? I'm charismatic. I can hold a conversation. Different attributes. Oh, and I smell good. Or I can walk by you, smell you, and then you be like, oh, mm, who was that? Let me get to know you. But why is it making an announcement like you're Prince Hakeem? Coming to America for those who ain't familiar. Why is my fragrance announcing me? Walking into the room. <laughs> Coming at six foot three. 255 pounds of pure muscle. <laughs> e -Q 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 -Q. No, it's goofy. Just as goofy as it is, is the person that's in a room that's just lie out for no reason. You ever seen a guy just in a room, just lie out? Or you in, the, you in the mall, you shopping, and the person on their cell phone holding a full conversation, that person's a jackass, isn't he? Or her. Isn't it? That's, how, that's what your fragrance is doing sometimes. Which is why you're also not getting compliments. And we're going to get into it. The next part of it is... So your expectations, temper, that was the first part. Just temper your expectations on what a fragrance will do. Your expectations of something will make something less. You know why some of y'all like these $20 fragrances? It's not because they smell pristine. It's because you got it for $20, so your expectation is lower, and it smells better than it, it doesn't, when in your mind, what a $20 fragrance should smell like, it doesn't smell like that. So in your mind, you just think it's better and it's the best thing. But if you actually paid $150, $200 for it, you would say, nah, bro, I wouldn't pay $200 for that. I know you wouldn't. Well, what does that really say when you wouldn't pay $200 for it? It ain't really that good. <laughs> or it's just okay. A lot of things okay. You'd be like, oh, I got it for $20. It's okay. I like it. And you convince yourself that it's the greatest thing ever and you love it. And I'm not saying that's with all fragrances. I'm not saying things for $1,000 is the best. I'm not saying that. But your expectations of what something should be, if it doesn't meet that, it can make it worse than what it is. And if it's too low and it meets or exceeds that, then you think it's better than what it is. Happens with everything. See a girl, she look good. Body banging. In like, you know, <laughs> Keenan Ivy Wayne's movie, you know what I'm saying? You go get her and she start taking off her pants and like the butt is gone. You'd be like, bro, what happened? Or she take the wig off and she don't got no edges. <laughs> You'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The makeup come off. You'd be like, holy smokes. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> Booger wolf. <laughs> bro, you be blown. <laughs> Expectations. So just temper that a little bit. Just in general, like temper your expectations because it can make things better than what it is and worse than what it is, but never what it is. So that's the first part. The next part is hygiene and skincare. A lot of y'all ain't getting good perform. I don't have performance issues with my fragrances. That's why I'm, things people say don't work, work with me. And we gonna get into it. Um, first things first, your diet. Bro, the body is made up of 60% water. This wine is not a substitute for water. It tastes good. It's not a substitute. I drink a gallon of water a day. You know how you, you want to know if your water intake is good? Bro, your body tells you by your defecation and your urine. It tells you if you're hydrated. Some of y'all go take a piss and your pee look like Arnold's Palmer <laughs> tea, sweet tea. Bro, go drink some water. <laughs> Please, for the love of Christ, <laughs> go drink some water. Your body like, you know, some half and half. <laughs> you pissing half and half, bro. <laughs> You're dehydrated. How do you expect your skin? Your skin takes in everything. That's why these drugs... Some drugs you shouldn't have touched, like fentanyl. If it touches your skin, your body absorbs it. Your body is like an absorption machine. 
you got to watch what you put on it and what it takes in. Because anything that goes on it, it's seeping into your whole stream. Just, just the human body. Do your own research on it. Don't believe nothing I'm saying. But your body takes in everything. And how can you win when you ain't right within? <laughs> That's a bar. <laughs> how are you going to win when you ain't right within? How? You're not drinking water. for the At least drink a half a gallon a day. I say drink a gallon. You know how you drink a gallon? You get a gallon of water and you walk around with it all day. <laughs> By the end of the day, that thing needs to be gone because you're going to get tired of, yeah. And when you first start drinking a lot of water, when I was in the military, they forced us. We would be on the, before we went to bed at night, they would make us drink a whole canteen. Drink water, drink water. <laughs> you had to finish it or you was going to get smoked. <laughs> Push-ups, exercise, smoke, those who ain't never served. That's where I learned my love of water. <laughs> It's like, oh, this is good. But you have to drink water. Your body is made up of 60% of it. The skin affects how things perform and last because your body's soaking up the oils. And if your skin is dry, then it's soaking in the fragrance a lot quicker than the hydrated skin. So drink water. What kind of water is good because it regulates the body temperature? Um, it supports the sales. In general, just drink water. Your diet. What kind of supplements you take? You take a multivitamin? Are you taking vitamin B or multivitamin that has niacin? Vitamin B3? Do you eat avocados or put avocados? Are you eating a salad? Carrots? Watermelon? Spinach that has vitamin B in it? Almonds have vitamin E. All these things help promote good skin. Your skin routine is crazy dumb. You're like living like a savage out here. <laughs> and you need to just change that. Like you have to like treat your, your body is your temple. You should probably treat it good. You should probably just do that. Shower. <laughs> Some of you take it for what it is. You dirty as <laughs> You dirty. <laughs> Wash your ass. Dirt is a layer barrier between fragrance, skin, dirt, things on dirt don't work. So, how often do y'all shower? For real, how often y'all shower? <laughs> Me, I'm personally not getting in my bed at night without taking a shower. I've been outside all day. How can some of y'all get in y'all bed <laughs> and not take a shower after you've been outside all day? That is disgusting to me. If you're a sweater, then take a quick one in the morning. I also like to go to the gym and work out. Depending on what I'm doing afterwards, might take another one. Could take three showers, at least two. How many showers are you taking? I ain't asking, but some of y'all need to take some goddamn showers. You ain't taking showers. And when you take showers, are you exfoliating your skin? You know how I judge somebody? You want to go in somebody's bathroom, you go into a woman's bathroom. How many bath cloths they got? Bro. Some of y'all got one bath cloth. Are you washing your face and your body and your ass with the same bath cloth? <laughs> Bro, you're dirty. <laughs> you only at least got two of them? One for your face? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. At a minimum, Bro, you don't have a loofah? <laughs> you don't have a loofah? Now, your loofah should look like this. If it looks like it's falling apart, get rid of it. <laughs> Get rid of it. It's dirty. It's old. But to be honest, those kind of harbor bacteria. At least get you an exfoliating br brush. Put it on. Put your gel in there. Exfoliate your skin, bro. <laughs> Exfoliate. This is basic stuff. I'm telling you, it'll make your, makes your, I don't have performance issues on fragrance. I exfoliate. I try to take care of my body. I try to take care of my skin. 
You only got one life. Your skin is important. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really is. So exfoliate. Um, are you taking hot showers? Hot showers will dry out your skin. It's gonna, it's drying out your skin, bro. <laughs> it is. You're just drying it out. Why do that? Cold showers. There's benefits to cold showers or cool room temperature showers. There's benefits to it, especially a cold shower. Improves circulation. It improves the immune system, super boost, and mood enhancing, muscle recovery. Um, and it closes pores and promotes healthy skin. There's like 12 other benefits of it, but that's just a few. But one of the most important is it closes your pores and promotes healthy skin. So that, so I'm going to do some examples, some things I use. What kind of soap are you using? Are you using dial soap? Shit is drying out your skin. Dry skin, you're never going to get the performance you want. So you need healthy skin. Personally, you can use skin, um, soaps with like vitamin E or natural oils in them. But I know like for me, I use this caress. I like this caress. Right, um, says daily silk, great for um for soft, silky, soft skin. I like it because it doesn't dry my skin out when I use it. So I jump in the shower, I'll use this bath cloth, lather up, get me right, right. But then after that, let's say we're gonna wear a citrus fragrance. Let me see, I got both of them up here. All right, so we're gonna after I don't you know, lathered up and got like the bulk of, you know, the good old dirt off my skin because I've been outside, even dirt you can't see and you got down to your legs in between your feet, your toes, your feet stink, <laughs> bro. Clean them. That's why your shoes be funky. Clean your feet, bro. How many of y'all be ignoring y'all feet, bro? <laughs> Dirty asses. <laughs> anyway, so you do that, right? But then afterwards, you get your exfoliating scrub. I use something, if I'm going to do a citrus fragrance, I use something like Tangerine Boy. I get stuff that will complement my fragrances. So let's say I'm going to wear Dior, Dior Home Cologne. It's a fragrance pay. People say, oh, I don't really work like that, right? I will rather see if Dior has a Dior Home Cologne body wash to match with it. Personally, I don't really like the bed you know, the, the the bath and body work stuff. Some of that stuff is okay, and some of that stuff just smells cheap to me. It smells like adolescents and strippers. <laughs> That's my association with some of those lotions and stuff. Y'all remember back in the days, you, you know, you might have went to go to the strip club, right? You ain't let your lady know. And some, remember when the strippers used to wear, like, glitter? Glitter was like the herpes of makeup. Because when you got it on your skin, you couldn't get it off. And you walking in the house and, <laughs> bro, you run in the bathroom <laughs> with a paper towel trying to get the glitter off your face. Because Peaches put her ass on your face. <laughs> Goddamn Peaches. <laughs> bro. <laughs> it was the worst. Those were the worst days. We talking 2009, bro. <laughs> Peaches and them. <laughs> You're doing too much. Let me... Do my mail thing in peace. I got to go home to this or whatever. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> tattletelling. Or they going in, they putting all this powder lathered up with this bath and body works and they in their bikinis and they humping on you and you like, Bro, my outfit smells like <laughs> strawberry candy. I don't know how I'm going to explain that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to explain that. Babe, I was at the mall. And you know them ladies that be at the mall that be trying to say, hey, come over here, let me spray something. They spray some stuff on me, I don't know. <laughs> Damn peaches. Anyway, some of that stuff smell cheap. So I like to, if, if a fragrance has their own um, body wash and stuff of that nature, like, just use that. But like, for instance, Tangerine Boy. I like, I have the fragrance Tangerine Boy. And this is good, right? I'll put this in there, lather up. You know, get a nice scrub and exfoliate my skin with it. Um, every man Jack has one I use. Um, body wash. This is sea salt. 
I like the smell of this. Lather up with it, right? I'm saying, all right, I'm gonna wear citrus fra fragrance. Um, Mandarino de Cecilia from Paris Monte Carlo, great citrus fragrance. Or Dion Cologne, I'm probably gonna wear this. I'm gonna lather up in something that complements what I'm wearing, right? So I'm gonna use that. Put this stuff back. So after I personally do that, then you get out the shower, right? You wash, you clean yourself. You didn't take a hot shower, right? I just told y'all about the benefits of a cooler shower. And then you get out and I like the pat dry. Pat dry, just pat dry. You got time, I don't know, listen to some music on YouTube, listen to a fragrance video or whatever while you're in the shower, some music. You know, the new music came out, pat dry. Get yourself right. Once you get yourself right, I like to personally use this brand of lotion. This lotion works for me. Um, I will always recommend it. And this is Nivea. I like Nivea. And they have the one that says, um, has almond oil. Now, with Nivea, you got to look on the back. This is what's important. I'm going to try to get on the screen. It says how light and how rich it is. I get the one with the most richness. Let me see if I can get it on the, on the screen so y'all can see it. See where it says most rich at? Where it circled at? You want to get the one where it's most rich. It has the most hydration in it. And you put lotion on your body. It's unscented. That's a good thing. I don't want anything clashing with my fragrances. So you put it on. A nice sheen to it. It's not like oily. I'm not lathering up in Vaseline, bro. I don't I, I don't like using va Vaseline. I use that to put on my lips, paws. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy, bro. Strippers and lips. Anyway, <clears throat> I, I personally like to use that. It just works. It's not too, it doesn't leave your hands too oily, not too greasy. It like, look at that, just right, right? Don't look like I put a whole bunch of Vaseline and a whole bunch of oil. It's like natural feeling. It just goes into your skin. It hydrates your skin. I prefer that. And it's unscented. So I took a shower. I told y'all the soaps. The lotion I personally like to use. I am, listen, I stand by, I've been, this, I use this. This is what, I don't have performance issues. I use this. And then after that, right, I say, okay, I'm going to wear Dior Home Cologne. Again, I like to use high quality lotions um, or scented lotions if I'm going to use them. And I prefer to use if a fragrance comes with a lotion, if I'm if Le Labo has a lotion or whoever, then I will prefer to use that and layer it with it. But in the event they don't, I got like this um, Aqua Allegoria Guerlain's. This is bergamot. So if I know I'm going to put this on, bergamot goes, actually bergamot is used here, even though it smells like, you know, a lemonade, but I'll put bergamot, right? So put a little bit of that on. And I'm putting it on so I can show you the sheen. So I'll put that, but I'll put that on my pulse point. So if I'm going to spray it somewhere, so I'll put it on my arms, forearms, summertime's coming. So I'm doing this because spring and summer's coming, right? So I'll put it on my forearms. And as your body temperature heats up, this lotion, but this is this girl, it's quality lotion. <laughs> quality, like scented stuff but you know not too greasy i ain't out here looking greasy looking crazy i can smell the bergamot so then you take the on and you rock out as the body temperature goes up the lotion is going to push out a little bit and a lot of times we ain't making the fragrance perform per se you really making you're smelling the combination of lotions and the fragrance. But because you did the first steps I talked about, which was, you know, learn how to actually clean yourself, <laughs> exfoliate, you've hydrated your skin. So not only, and you put that other Nivea on first that really hydrated and created a layer, then you put the, you know, girl on or, you know, bath and body works if that's what you're using. You put a little bit of that on because, I mean, you put that stuff on, Bath and Body Works lotion all over your body. You don't really need a fragrance. That is loud. <laughs> that will fill a room. 
I mean, you smell like a juvenile or adolescence. Some of that, again, some of it smell cheap, some of it smell good, depending on the flavor profile of the fragrance. Some of that I can't it smell like my daughter's running around. I got kids in high school. It smell like I got high school kids. If you smell like a high school girl, <laughs> that's going to smell crazy to me. I'm be like, no, nah, I'm good. You don't got no taste. You don't got no flavor. I'm cool on that. Get out of my face, young girl. But I'm 40. Grow up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Joe. <laughs> but some of it, like, pick and choose. But definitely use your lotions, your flavor lotions, or your scented lotions after your um the other lotions you use. And again, my hand's not overly greasy, but when I can feel it, I can feel this thin layer of, like, moisturization on my skin. Like, my skin is, right now, is extremely soft. Like, if I shook your hand, you'd be like, damn, you got soft, strong hands. Yeah, I know. Some of y'all might need that for the night, Mr. Jurgens. <laughs> y'all don't get compliments and no cheeks anyway. <laughs> this might be good for you, you know, for the late night action. <laughs> Anywho, so I use that, right? <clears throat> so um, where we at right now? I almost got off track. So, so my um my product routine. So that's kind of my product routine. I have fragrances like I know, um, like Killian. Killian got some scented lotions and, and stuff. Like they got Straight to Heaven. If you have Straight to Heaven, you match that with the lotion, Black Phantom. Again, if the fragrance company has a lotion that goes with it, I would recommend doing that to make because the same scent profile is not going to change the fragrance. Some fragrances like... If they had a lotion for Magnum, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> I think this is good on its own. But I would still do something like, you know, a bergamot wouldn't, wouldn't kill this. If I put the bergamot on, it wouldn't, it wouldn't kill the freight. It would match with that. But I'm not using a bergamot lotion with um, Montal Sensual Instinct. <laughs> Bro, I'm not doing that. That's, that's not a good contrast. <laughs> That's clashing. And now I smell like I don't know. Because that's just going to clash. So there's other, you know, stronger. Or that's when you might go to um, Bath and Body Works and they have, like, some of their, like, whiskey, coffee. And, you know, use some of their lotions. But use a little bit. Put it in your post points. Wherever you're going to spray the fragrance at, just put a little bit. Rub it in. Get a nice. And that's how I would do that to make that last longer. But remember, all the steps, exfoliation, using the right lotion, um, learning how to clean yourself, taking showers, maybe taking cooler showers, all these things and drinking water will all help things last longer on you because now your skin isn't sucking up the fragrance. So you want to do that. So <clears throat> the next part we're going to talk about is um, the spray routine. I'm not going to go too far in, in depth in it because most of y'all know my spray routine. But if this is your first time, I'll make it pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, and as I always say with the fragrance, with the spray routine, too much is horrible. Too little is also horrible. So you have to know each fragrance. You have to become intimate with your fragrance. That's like the first step of it all. This probably could have been... Part one of the video, learn your fragrances. Learn them. Um, do I have any beast mode fragrance? Uh, I mean, this, you know how I learned my fragrance? You first get a fragrance in, one spray on the wrist, one. You know you got a fragrance, you just bought it, you're not wearing nothing else. How I test my fragrance, one spray on the wrist away from me, and I put my arm down. If I can smell it with my arm over there and it's wafting over here, bro, it's strong. If I got to do this a little bit and I can smell it, mm, it's kind of medium. If I got to go close, it's like, okay, this is a little bit more intimate. That's how I kind of judge it. But then I just kind of wear it on the wrist and just go throughout the day. Walk and just walk around outside, inside, just kind of see what it does. And maybe if you want to walk around throughout the day, one on the back of the neck, on both wrists, that's it. That's how you test the fragrance. 
and just kind of see what it does. That's going to tell you all you need to know. Become intimate. Do that for a couple of days. Like learn the fragrance for a couple of days and be like, it's going to be strong. It's going to be weak. It's going to, you have to know this because there is no set rule for how many sprays on each fragrance, which is why I see people. I know, I mean, I know some of this is shtick. This, I'm going to put 15 sprays on for everything. It's, it's, it's clear stick in entertainment. I get it. But some, some of y'all are actually listening to that is knowledge and law. And I don't want you to be caught up in ass clownery because <laughs> it's unnecessary. But learn the fragrance, right? And think about it this. I'll use a couple examples. Every fragrance isn't made, nor should it be made to fill a room. I'm going to say it again. Every fragrance has different utility. It shouldn't be made to all fill a room. Let me give you an example. A Mercedes S580. You're going to pay over $100,000 for that car. It's a great car. Luxury. Floats. The tech in there. Night vision. Bro, it is, if you ain't never driven one, I'm... You, sh you should at least test drive one, <laughs> bro. It is the ride of got the per all Mercedes got the perfume you put in there and it goes come through the vents, bro. <laughs> the the light up in Mercedes when it come to tech, Mercedes got that. When it come to tech, right? Great car, strong engine, but if I want to go on a track, I'm gonna buy a GT3 RS. Why would I take an S580? But it's $100,000. You should be, you paid $100,000. You should, bro, just get a GT3 RS or get a Corvette. That's made for that. A Mercedes is made for you to drive from Maryland to Florida nonstop. I don't want to be in a <laughs> GT3 RS with bucket seats nonstop. Yo, your legs, your ass is going to go to sleep. <laughs> You're going to wish you never did that, that ride. So get the right vehicle for the right utility. Know what, same thing with fragrances. Every gun isn't made to make a thousand yard shot. A shotgun isn't made to hit a mule deer at a thousand yards. Get a 6.5 Creed more. Don't go into bear country, in moose country, in Ontario, Seattle, moose and bear country with a nine millimeter on your hip. <laughs> Bro, you ain't stopping nothing. Go get you a 10 millimeter. You're going to need that if you encounter that cougar that you're going to wish you had that 10 millimeter. It's made for that. But I don't want to use a 10 millimeter for home protection. Why? Because it's going through the man and going through the going through the house and it's hitting. Same thing with a hollow point in a ballpoint. I don't want to use a ballpoint for home protection. I want a hollow point. I want to go in you, spray it, and stop and shatter. I don't want to hit my kids on the other side of the wall in the event, you know, things get froggy. So get the right thing for the right utility. A suit is great going to church or going to work. I'm not going to the beach in a suit. Just like I'm not showing up to my work meeting in swim trunks. Serves different utility and different purpose. The same thing with this. This isn't made to fill a room. This is a citrus fragrance. Mandarin. Absolutely stunning, fresh, white T-shirt approved. It's not made to fill a room and go all day. If I want to do that, you know, I'll wear Wild Imperial. I'll wear Pearl. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll use the right fragrance for the right utility. I want something a little bit more dense. I'm going to go with Summer Hammer. Bro, <laughs> bro. Mango, coconut, <clears throat> bro. I'm going to talk about this one day. <laughs> this summer hammer. Go on Fragranica, look it up. 
it's dense. Now that's a dense fragrance. So if it's really, really hot and I don't want nothing sticky, I need something more refreshing. I'm going with this. I'm going with this. So get the right stuff for the right utility. If you're on a date, you don't need a room filler. If I'm going to a ballroom event or a party, I might want a room filler. Utility. Think about it. And last but not least is style. Your style. Listen, man. I said fragrance isn't a fixer-upper. If you look like Goonies, hey, you guys, bro, you're never going to get compliments. You're never going to drop panties. A fragrance ain't going to fix that. You look sloppy. You got a polo shirt, and when you raise your arms, your belly is coming over your belt line. Hit the gym. Eat less calories. When you take your clothes off, do your girl look at you like impressive? If not, then change it. Change your style. If I walk into a business meeting with a hoodie on, some black shades like this, bro, no one's taking me serious. <laughs> Appearance is big. Environment, match your environment. I know I dress down like this for YouTube because I like to be comfortable and I'm in my own damn house. But depending on where I'm going, I dress for the occasion. I'm not always in a hoodie in Jordans. Depending on where I'm going. Am I going to a day party? Sometimes I might want to wear some soft bottom tennis shoes. Some soft bottoms. Some like dress tennis shoes for those who, you know, DC, DMV lingo, soft bottoms. I'm going to wear like some dress tennis shoes. Some all white joints with some chinos. Maybe a polo shirt. Depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going. I don't dress like this all the time. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I might throw a turtleneck on. Your appearance is everything. Good-looking people get things in life. I'm sorry to tell you that. In general. I mean, look at some of the people or women you might watch on YouTube, bro. They're good-looking. Make no mistakes about it. If they couldn't dress and they was funny-looking, they wouldn't have the views they get. It's not all because they know more. Because, I mean, if you want to look at, like, uh, knowledge matters and what you know, then Sebastian would be the largest. He would have more than Jeremy Fragrance. Sebastian, who got, like, a thousand fragrances, would have more subs and more followers if that mattered. He would have more subs, more followers than Jeremy Fragrance. He would be the biggest, one of the biggest YouTubers of Fragcom there is. But he's not. So it matters. Some of y'all watch me because y'all can relate to me. I'm like a brother, a homeboy, a cousin from the hood. I can relate to y'all. I talk in plain English and language. I don't try to talk smarter than y'all or I talk to you all in easy format to like understand. I try to paint a picture. Some of y'all be like, yo, that's relatable. You fucks with me. Appearance matters. It matters. Don't ever think it ain't. So it's, fragrance ain't going to fix you, Fozzie Quasimodo, <laughs> bro, it ain't going to fix you. Go to the gym. Work out. Like, seriously, it's just... Because the reality is this, and we gonna, I'm going to be closing it up soon. Here's the reality. Come here. Come closer. People can smell you. They just don't want to compliment you. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. People can smell you. They just don't want to compliment you for various of reasons. How do you look? How do you sound? Do you have resting bitch face? Or do you look approachable? Do, or do you look like you got halitosis? Do you got a booger in your nose? You got food in, in your, between your teeth? 
Are your teeth yellow and gingivitis? How many side teeth you missing? Bro, it is. A, it matters. I don't. It matters. People who getting compliments, relatively speaking, they're somewhat attractive to somebody. It is what it is. Or they're extremely approachable and charismatic. If you look like you don't like to be bothered, and bro, this whole, uh, I, I put 20 sprays of this on and I didn't get a compliment. They smelt you. They just ain't want to compliment you. Rather you look funny or you spray too much and they was like, you obnoxious. I'm not complimenting that. He needs to get away from me. Or they couldn't smell you. But it's a lot of different reasons why some of y'all just ain't getting compliments. Are you in a city where people kind of more complimentary or are you like in New York City or downtown D.C. where people busy? It's go, 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 go. Everybody on the go. So no one's just going to, I mean, getting a compliment is going to be a hit and miss. You kind of have to be in a social environment, the bar, the nightclub, a lounge, cigar lounge, speak easy. Like you got to go to these things in order to interact with humans. You know, before the internet was around, you had to touch grass, go outside, talk to people, get the hell off the internet, make real friendships. Remember that? Remember that day? <laughs> you had to go outside. Some of, I've talked to some 20 year olds. They don't know how to talk to women. Some, if the shoe fits, wear it. Just because you're 20 on here, don't, get, don't feel no kind of way. But some of y'all don't know how to talk to women. Y'all don't know how to talk to people. Y'all don't have no personable skills because everything is on the internet. It's short firm. It's LOL. It's, you know, W, you know, W-Y-D. It's, it's, it's quick. It's text messages. Y'all don't need... If, Y'all got to communicate text messages. Like, if you had to pick up the phone and talk to somebody and have a conversation for an hour, you couldn't even do it. You don't even know how to do that. You have no personable skills. Touch grass. Go outside. Talk to people. Just talk to people. Biggest, just talk to somebody. It don't matter. Hey, how you doing? If you can walk up to anybody and hold a conversation about anything, Bro, it really is cold out here, ain't it, today? Yeah, man, they say the weather. I can do that. I'll walk up to anybody. I can have a conversation. I'd be like, man, damn, it's cold out here today, man. It's getting, what do you think? He'd be like, yeah, man, it's cold. Yeah, they say the weather tomorrow is supposed to be like this. Man, yeah, I heard that too, man. Hey, man, hopefully it's better than enough, man. I can't wait for this grass. Got to do something with the yard. You know, start putting the grass seeds down to fertilize. Yeah, man, I can do that too. Bro, I had a whole conversation with this man. I don't know this man. If you can't do that, with women, people, bro, you don't have personable skills. And the internet has screwed that for a lot of people. Y'all get awkward around humans. <laughs> if it ain't work and it ain't phone, some of y'all will get off the cell phone so you can text. Weirdos. Get some personable skills, bro. Trust me. It works. Back in the days, you had to do that. You had to go, like, get numbers. You had to go outside. Couldn't do that over the internet. <laughs> Too much has changed. Yeah, a lot has changed out here. And again, man, um, when you show up good, you will get the results you want. Show up. Some of y'all think y'all fragrances aren't performing. It's performing. They smell you. They have no desire to compliment you. So chasing a fragrance because I say it, these are my most complimented fragrances. Because I say that every time I walk out the house with faith, I get an unsolicited compliment. I do. I have. It's going to come a day this year that I'm not going to get one. I don't care. But that day is going to come. It has to come. I refuse to believe I'm undefeated right now. It's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know when, but it's going to happen. But I generally wear that in social environments. So I have to be personable and sociable. And when you do that and you're warm and welcoming, you get compliments. Every now and then you can walk past somebody in Walmart and they'll say something that, that happens. Or in the mall, that happens on occasion. 
on occasions, small, most of the time a social event. Brunch, happy hour, social. So touch grass, go outside. So that's my take on how to make your fragrances perform better if you just coming in. I'm going to summarize it. Again, expectations, temper your expectations on what a fragrance will do. Um, a fragrance is not a fixer-upper. If you overweight, if you're, you know, you need to unbig your back, um, brush your teeth, put some mouthwash in, get a haircut. Haircuts do wonders for people. Make Get some clothes that fit. I mean, it's not going to, spraying on a fragrance ain't fixing none of that. It ain't going to fix your confidence. You got to have confidence within. So temper your expectations on what a fragrance will do. That way you will stop getting mad at reviewers when you be like, oh, they said I got compliments. I ain't getting no compliments. Yeah, bro, you ain't them. You don't be where they at and you don't do what they do. Clearly they're charismatic. They got like 50,000 people, 100,000 following them. Those are charismatic people. Or they wouldn't get no followers, no viewers. Can you do that? Learn how to talk to people. It's a good trait to have. Um, hygiene and skincare. Use good soaps that won't dry your skin out. Take cold showers. It's also good for drying your, you know, not drying out your skin. Exfoliate silicone is better than. This kind of loofah because that holds bacteria. Silicone is better, especially if you get a silicone face scrub. You should use the same kind of thing with your face routine. People see your face. You should have a face routine, anti-aging face routine. You should have it. You should. Um, if you don't, I don't know if I'm doing a video on that, but you should. Um, so take care of your hygiene. Drink water. I personally drink a gallon of water a day. Um... I'm not saying you need to drink a gallon, but you should probably drink a half a gallon. And if you don't know if you've drunk too much, well, you can have water poison. Water poison is a thing. It's a thing. Like, it happens. Like, you drink too much water, you it's, it's a thing. But you got to drink a lot of water, but it is a thing. Um, And you can drink too little. You want to know? Look at your urine. When you go urinate, is it like almost like water with a little bit of yellow tint, you're good. If it's dark yellow, looks like lemonade to Arnold Palmer sweet tea, you're not drinking enough water, wine, liquor, soda. None of that is a substitute for water. Your body is made of 60% water, not 60% wine. It's not a substitute. Please drink water. It is literally 90% of y'all just don't drink enough water, and that's why you don't... Um, have good hygiene and you're not um your diet is screwed up. You're not drinking green. I mean, you're not eating greens. Salads, carrots, fruits, vegetables. Bro, you want some fruits and vegetables. You need that. What happens when you got a date? And you know, she wanna start kissing on your belly and she go down, and get her on her knees, and she start <laughs> and your shit tastes like some nickels, some nickels in hot dog water when it blasts off in her mouth. <laughs> Bro, what you put in your body comes out. Fruits, water, vegetables. Tell her you got a smoothie on the way. I don't know. Talk nasty to her. <laughs> shit. <laughs> she finishing. She, oh, she's she spitting your shit out because it tastes like 7-Eleven hot dog water and sardines. In nickels, a bag of nickels. <laughs> your diet is, your pH is wild. Shit is out of, out of whack. Trust me. You have a good diet. She might go ham on that joint. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Ask your wives, yo. Oh, no. Change your diet. You ever had something? She'd be like, mm, you've been eating good. <laughs> yeah, I know. This, all right, let me let me tone it down, man. You know, we're getting grown out here. But no, nah, dead ass though. <laughs> New York, New York style, dead ass. Change your diet. Then no, you have a dirty diet because all you eat is carry out food. I don't know, eat some fruits and vegetables and give her a shot. 
say, here comes out the spigot. The spigot. Mm. Yum. Yeah, I know. That's a nice green smoothie for you. Good protein. Anyway, man, moving on, bro. <laughs> moving on. I'm wilding. But yeah, have good hygiene, man. You can't win when you ain't right within. Dead at. I mean, you just, you're never going to win when you ain't right within. And last but not least, um, you got to have style, bro. Style, charisma. I've talked about books that if you read will change your outlook on a lot of different things. Um, you know, way of the superior man, um, art of seduction. Like, just read some books, bro. Read. Reading is a form of intelligence. You should have a good view of things and research. Like, we have smartphones and we're not smart with them. Too many people got smartphones and not smart with them. <laughs> you ever see somebody say some dumb shit? You're like, bro, you could have Googled it. Google. It's free. Google. Cross-reference. One thing says one thing. Cross-reference it. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. And with that said, that is my closing on how to make your fragrances last longer. I don't have issues with longevity in fragrances. I don't. I don't. But men, too many people, especially in today's age, got low testosterone. You can't get your jimmy up. Your shit ain't, don't hit the veins no more like they supposed to, bro. Your diet. You ain't waking up with a, with a year because you need a change in your diet. Try it. I don't know. You should be strong with it. Fight the power. <laughs> You're right, Terrence. You are what you consume, man. And, and like, you only got one life. You only got one body. Um, I don't know. Respect it. Respect it. The most powerful thing you can do is tell somebody no. Discipline. You know what discipline is? Doing what you don't doing what you don't want to do, even when you got to do it. Discipline. Some people don't want to wake up and go to the gym. Discipline. I gotta go do it. I can go get a pizza right now. It's amazing. Sugar is like the number one drug. Discipline. <sighs> let me do a salad instead, and let me go walk for at least forty five minutes to sixty minutes a day. Continuous walking. Discipline. Doing what you doing what you got to do even when you don't want to do it. Form of dis discipline, form of integrity. Doing what's right when you, when you don't want to do it. Have some. It will help you in a lot of things you do. With that being said, people, that is my little bit over an hour. I don't think we... Um, I don't think we're going to need no questions on this. Let me see. Next video. I still got something cooking up. Let me talk about some things I might have cooking up. Um, I got to call somebody. Yeah, I got, I got this. I'm trying to do this weekly show. I ain't going to talk about that. But hopefully it come through. It's going to be like it's going to be popping. Y'all going gonna, gonna to like that. Um, Y'all going to like that a lot. How I have a couple of houses I need to talk about. Um, I guess y'all at some point gonna want me to do some kind of live spring list or spring fragrances. I can do that. Um, other than that, man, I think that's about it, man. Ain't nothing else going on, man. Living life. Follow me on IG. If you're not in my Facebook group, follow me in my face. You know, make sure you join my Facebook group. Again, you got to be a subscriber. I, I do check too. You try to join my group, you be like, scribe, and your profile is on private. I decline people all the time. I'd never care about numbers. Maybe I should. I think we, where we at right now? If any of my admins in here, where we at in the Facebook group? About 200, 250, 250 something in the, in the group. I could have way more. I deny more people than I let in. You ain't subscribe, I don't let you in. I don't, it ain't not been about the numbers for me. But we're active in there. I'm going to be honest. I'm in several Facebook groups. Fragrance Facebook groups. We are 10 times more active in my group 
than we are any other group. And we have less numbers. <laughs> My group is active. And we have less numbers. Every day. There's not a day go by, and it ain't none of this dumb rate my fragrance collection and all this other nonsense. It is, this is what I'm wearing today. People say, man, I ain't never, what you think about that? Tell me about that. People talking to each other, helping each other out. Bro, it ain't a bunch of nonsense. I don't tolerate it. You come in there with goofy stuff, rate my fragrance, and, and sent me, bro, I'm booting you. And don't come in my inbox and say, can I come back in? No. There's other groups for you over there. It ain't for you over here. But with that being said, man, I love you all. Um, Jared, okay, Jared already put it up. Um, I don't think I can pin that from, from what you call. Uh, no, I don't think maybe I can do this. I don't know if that pinned it. But the Facebook group is in the chat. Um, if you're watching the replay, you'll see it again. You must be a subscriber. And I have zero tolerance. Like, there is no, like, second chances because you've been warned in the beginning. You violate a rule, you out. I don't really care. <laughs> well, EQ, I won't watch you no more support. Okay, that's fine. I'll be okay with that. <laughs> I'll be okay with that. Let me see. I had some super chats. Let me see this. Reading the way to Superior Man now, because I heard you mention it in the live. Anyway, you can drop some more book recommendations. Um, and the book, yeah, I I can I can do that. Most of the time on my IG, I think I posted all the books. Um, um shit. What's um uh it was one that one that I really like. Uh uh, um, um, Atomic Habits. I think it's Atomic Habits, the name of it. I got it upstairs, but I think it's Atomic Habits. Um, you should get that. That's, that's a good one. Um, I got a few, a few that you, it's just, it's just, man, man. I mean, it's grown up stuff, but it's like accountability, like man stuff, like move with purpose. You know, the most powerful thing you cannot do as a man is turn some pussy down. When it's, when it's there and you can have it and you can be like, no, nah, I'm good. So that's power. <laughs> that means you're sexually disciplined. I'm not accessible. <laughs> I, that's always been my goal. I don't want to be accessible to anybody. It is a privilege to be accessible to me. That's always been my thing. Like, I don't just hang out with anybody. I just don't do stuff with anybody. And I just won't just date anybody. And I just won't smash anybody. I've never had a problem getting some ass in my entire life. I never had a problem with that. So that's just, I can do that. If I want to go do that, I can do that in five minutes. I go 20 minutes, hour, probably jump somebody's inbox. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's too easy. Discipline is saying, I know what I want. I know what I deserve. And you know, women like discipline, man. It'll raise your stock value. But anyway, I'm not Kevin Samuels. That ain't what this show is about, and that ain't what I'm about. I, that ain't my lane. But anyway, man, I'm going to go ahead and end it in the chat. I appreciate y'all for s supporting and showing up. And um, and we going to go ahead and get up. The cipher. The cipher. The cipher. The cipher. Go ahead, ended up out the chat. I figure out what my next show gonna be about. Oh no, oh no, know what I should talk about? Spring sense. I like having life topics. You know what I'm saying? I could just rap to y'all, or maybe I should just do a show about nothing, or maybe a question and answer show. Like just run it. Last time I had one of them joints, it kind of got wild, and I, I was off the hook, and I deleted that joint. <laughs> Off a misunderstanding, but that's a whole nother story. But I might have another one of those. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, I want to thank all y'all for supporting the content, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. A lot of y'all watching me ain't subscribed to me. It costs you nothing. If you want to check out the new fragrance, what that's that? Uh, Thomas Cosmala, Neon. I talked about this when the show first came on. This is all about mango. This is number four. You can get it in my Joma shop link. Yes, I want credit for it because no one's talking about it. And yes, I want to get credit for it. Hit the link. Yes, I get a small commission on that. It costs you nothing. When I bring something to y'all, I want to, yes, I want to get credit for it. Absolutely. So I'm not going to be shy about that at all. Please use the link. But if you don't, it is what it is. Um, helps channel grow. And I appreciate everybody who always showing love. 
Um, Dedrick, man, much love to you, brother. You know his number, love. Everybody who, who came and showed love, man, always love it, support it. And we're going to go ahead and get to it, man. Remember, love your life, love your people. Life is short, have fun. Manage your money. Invest in the right thing. Crypto is going bananas. Y'all buying fragrances. I don't know why you ain't buying crypto. <laughs> Oh, no, Microsoft going bananas. What's your portfolio look like? But I'm not a financial advisor. Oh. Do what you do. With that being said, peace. <laughs>